Hi everybody, welcome back to story time. Today is Tuesday and this is toddler story time. So grab your shaky egg and we're going to start by standing on our feet. Here we go. Today Okay, grab your scarf or your fabric or your dish towel or washcloth and we're going to wind the bobbin up. Shake it, shake it. Here we go, you ready? Round and round. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind, round and round, round and round. Pull, pull. Up in the air, to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, window. Point to the there's door. my door, clap your hands together, one, two, three, pat your knees, your hands upon your all right, here we go, round and round, wind the bobbin up, round and round, pull, pull, clap, 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 wind it back again, round and round, pull, There's my door. Clap your hands together. One, two, three. Pat your knees. Oh, good job. You ready? Round and round. Pull, pull. Clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again. Wind it back again. Pull, pull. Clap, clap, clap. Up in the air. Down to the floor. your knees. Oh, good job, good job. All right, hold the corners because we're going to shake it, shake it, shake all the wrinkles out. Here we go. You ready? We're going to scrunch it up and we're going to count to five. So scrunch it up, scrunch it and scrunch it and scrunch it and get it all in there. Here we go. You ready? One, two, three, four, Five. Woo. Good job. Good job. All right. Shake it, shake it. We do it again. Scrunch it up. Scrunch it and scrunch it. Get all scrunched up in there. Here we go. We're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo. Good job. One more time. Shake it, shake it. Here we go, scrunch it up. Good job, good job, here we go. You ready? We're gonna to count to five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five. Woo. Good job. All right. Shake it. Okay. We are going to read a story. Ella's Night Lights. Nestled in a little nook of an old oak tree lived a teeny tiny girl. Her name was Ella. Ella had two fluffy antenna and soft feathery wings just like a moth. Look, she has feathery antennas and she has wings. Because Ella's wings were so delicate and fine, she couldn't go out in the sun. Ella's biggest wish was to see the sunshine. When Ella woke at night, the moon was high. She flittered and flew, collecting light. She was drawn to everything that glowed and glimmered in the darkness. She chased after twinkling stars. She flickered at lamplights. She even, she even, and even little pebbles that reflected the light of the moon. When Ella would share the light, she was gathering with anyone who needed help finding their way in the dark. Look, she's dropping stars in there so that the frogs can see. And every time she shared her light, Ella would whisper, Here's some bright light. Here's a night light. A little ray of, to calm your fright. There was always someone who needed a little bit of light. One evening, Ella spotted a fox all alone. She looked cold and tired. Here, said Ella said to the fox, whose name was Sable, here's some bright light. Here's a night light, a little ray to calm your fright. Aw, oh, she gave the little fox some light. After that, Ella and Sable searched for shimmering light together. And Sable always made sure that Ella was back home before the sun rose. Look, Ella's riding on the back of the fox. On another night that winter, as Ella flew through the swirling snow, she saw a little owl who was scared and all alone in the high branches of a tree. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo, he's scared. Don't be afraid, Ella said to the owl, whose name was Luna. Take my hand. Here's some bright light. Here's a night light and a little ray to calm your fright. Ella's nights were now filled with fun. Luna, Sable, and Ella drew twinkling pictures, made flickering shadow puppets, and played together beneath the bright moon. Look, there's Luna the owl, Ella, and there is um, Sable the, the fox. Nestled beside Ella, Sable thought about how Ella always shared her light how she helped creatures both big and little. So Sable gathered all of Ella's forest friends. They came up with a plan. I wonder what they're going to do. Remembering how Ella had helped her fly fearlessly, Luna soared higher than ever before and sliced a piece of the starry sky. While Ella slept during the day, her friends secretly snipped and stitched gathered and glued. Sounds like they're making something for her. At the end of the busy night, just before the shining start of the new day, Ella's friends found her as she was headed home. Finally, the moment had arrived to show Ella what they'd been making. Come with us, everyone said excitedly. Ella could hardly believe her eyes. They had made a den of darkness that would protect her wings from the sun. Ella was able to watch the dazzling sun rise for the first time. They made a tent for her to hide under so she could watch the sun come up. That was nice of them, wasn't it? They're pretty good friends. Wow, such a bright light, the morning light. What a wish come true to see this sight. From then on, Ella and her friends shared every bright day together. So now her friends are sharing her tent. I bet you could make a tent. Ella's Night Lights. All right, today's movement song is about a hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. What kind of animal makes that noise? It's an owl. So we're going to sing a song about an owl. We need to listen so we can follow directions. If you're really lucky, 
you can see an owl flying through the sky. Oh, here comes one now. Flap your wings and fly around. Fly around. Flap your fly wings. Around. Fly around. Fly around. Flap your wings. Flap your wings and fly around. snuggled up with Mommy Owl, sharing a bedtime story. It was late o'clock. Then all the little bunnies closed their eyes and fell fast asleep. The end, said Mommy. Now it's your turn, little owl. Close your eyes. And no, said little owl. No, no, no. No, said Mommy Owl. No, said little owl. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep. I don't want the end. I want another story. Mommy Owl blinked. If I read you one more story, she said, promise me you'll snuggle down and go to sleep. It is very late for little owls. Little Owl nodded. Mommy read little owl another story. Then all the little field mice closed their eyes and fell fast asleep. The end. Good night, little owl. Mommy whispered, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, said little owl, but... Little Owl's pillow was too lumpy. Little Owl's quilt was too hot. Little Owl's eyes refused to stay shut. It's very dark. Mommy, said Little Owl, it's too dark. Oh, Little Owl, said Mommy Owl, it has to be dark so that nobody can see the very shy frogs when they come out to sing in the bashful frog chorus. I can't hear them, said Little Owl. That's probably because they're very shy, said Mommy Owl. Look, here's a tiny nightlight for you. It's so small, even a very shy frog wouldn't mind you using it. Good night, Little Owl. Little Owl closed his eyes. His pillow was even lumpier than before. Little Owl wiggled and squirmed. Suddenly, Little Owl had an awful thought. Mommy, he called. I've lost Hedge and I can't sleep without her. Oh, little owl, sighed Mommy. Hedge has probably gone to pick up a midnight snack at the Acorn Bakery. Yummy, that looks like a good place to go. Founder, said little owl. Look, she was hiding under my pillow. Whew, said Mommy. Good night, little owl. And Hedge, said little owl. Night, night, Hedge, said Mommy Owl. Now both of you go to sleep. Hedge fell asleep at once. Little Owl tried to go to sleep. He was really, it was, he tried really hard, but there was a noise. Mommy, what's that n -n noise? Squeaked Little Owl. Mommy listened. Is that the song of the bashful frogs? 
No, said Little Owl. It's a sort of quiet, snorty kind of noise. Oh, Little Owl, whispered Mommy Owl. I know exactly what that is. It's the sound of little butterflies snoring in their flower beds. So sweet. We're so lucky to hear them. Good night, Little Owl, said Mommy Owl again. And all was quiet until, guess what? <laughs> Mommy, called Little Owl. I'm too hot. I'm too hungry. I'm hungry. I got to go. Oh, Little Owl, said Mommy. Look, you've woken up Hedge. Poor Hedge. Let's tuck her back in. Mommy, said Little Owl. Yes, Little Owl, sighed Mommy Owl. I can't fall asleep because I'm too excited about seeing Grandma and Grandpa Owl tomorrow. That would be exciting. My dear little owl, said Mommy Owl, shall I tell you a secret? Tomorrow will come much faster when you fall asleep. Really, said owl, little owl yawned. I promise, said Mommy. You forgot to give me a kiss, said little owl. Silly Mommy, said Mommy Owl. Love you, little owl. Love you too, Mommy, said little owl. You think he's going to go to sleep now because he thinks tomorrow will come faster if he goes to sleep? Little Owl settled down with Hedge. I'll read you one more story, Hedge, but you have to promise to go to sleep afterwards because the faster you go to sleep, the faster tomorrow will come. And tomorrow we're going to see Gram Grandma Owl and Grandpa Owl. Little Owl turned off his nightlight. It is dark, but I'm right here beside you, Little Owl tucked Hedge in. That sound, it's just Mommy Owl singing in the bath. Night, night, Hedge. Sleep tight. Little Owl couldn't wait for tomorrow to begin. He closed his eyes extra tight, pulled the quilt up to his chin, and snuggled deep in his pillow. A huge, happy yawn. Mommy Owl tiptoed in for one last kiss. Sweet dreams, Little Owl. He really had a hard time going to sleep, didn't he? It took him a long time. Little Owl's bedtime. I hope you had fun today at toddler story time. Listen, put one hand up way up high. Wave goodbye. It's time to go. Wave up high and wave down low. Wave real fast. Uh, wave real slow. Wave goodbye. It's time to go. Wave up high. Wave down low. Wave goodbye. I'll miss you so. Mm, love you. Be good listeners, and remember, wash, wash, wash your hands. See you next week.